you know, we are in the, what you call the lockup period or the, you know, blackout period. And I can't comment on the stock prices, but uh, I can comment that, uh, as we know, 2020 has been a very difficult year globally and more difficult for the property market. Our financial results are out for nine months. And, you know, you can go through them and see how, how, how we performed. Uh, going forward, 2021, I have said uh, publicly several times, I don't think it's going to be better. Still, we have a glut of supplies and still there is going to be the market going to be very challenging in the property market. Uh, stocks going up or down, I can't comment on that. Unfortunately, the market has its own view. It has speculators and long-term investors and so forth. But my advice will be uh, read the balance sheet. Uh, to what extent is this related to the statement that you made to the DFM about a, a potential acquisition that you're considering? Uh, could you give us any more detail at all about what is in play, size, scope, location? To start with, we did not say there is an acquisition. We're going to do what the press have said. We already own a project in London between Damak International and Damak Property. The Damak Property is increasing its percentage in that product, in that project. No more, no less. So there is no acquisition. There is no any other new project. I think the statement probably has not been very clear where we have clarified the statement today at two o'clock on the DFM. And we clearly said there is no acquisition at all. It's an internal change of shares of different companies into the group, which has to go to the board to get the approvals. There's also been some confusion around the foreign ownership in your company. Uh, could you, for the record, tell our global audience uh, what the percentages are as of now? Uh, it's around 3%. Some of the shares which me and my family own, around 30%, are registered via BVI Cayman companies prior to the IPO. And they stayed that way. Because as you know, UAE law at the time and still until recently allowed you up to 49% foreign shareholders. And we had some of the family assets been held in the, under foreign jurisdiction. But the real foreign share in the company uh, is around 3%. Well, let me ask you then about the second wave of the coronavirus and that is playing out around the world. How worried are you about its potential impact on uh, recovering Dubai? And does the committee to manage real estate supply need to do more to try and prepare for that kind of scenario? I think Dubai has done a great job in controlling the COVID-19, the lockdown, the cleaning, the how they open in a gradual, and the world will tell you today, the only city around the world probably, which has hotels are full of tourism and restaurants are, you know, uh, full and people are enjoying life. And I don't see we have a major, uh, you know, issue with COVID. Of course, there are cases and the cases are up, but mostly mild and hospitals are, you know, so things been controlled very well. On a global level, it's a scary. I mean, what I hear yesterday, the prime minister of, of, of UK, uh, you know, and how things are in U.S. and how things are in, in, in Europe and other parts of the world. It's very scary. And this is something no human being has a control over. This may come back much stronger or may just suddenly disappear. The good news that, the you know, uh, we have now find a vaccine for that. And mm -hmm. hopefully the vaccine will work. Again, those are medical things. We hope it works. And I really pray that the vaccine works and we see better to 2021. Uh, just some closing thoughts on the second part of that question, which is on the committee that is managing some of the real estate projects. Uh, I mean, looking back over the last three, four months, would you say that uh, they've done good work? They've, they've kept visibility as far as you're concerned, transparency, and more importantly than anything else, have taken action to make sure that this oversupply continues to get drained? I mean, yes, COVID has forced everybody to stop, no matter they like it or not. Also, the market situation, I think, as you know, everybody realizes too much oversupply. Uh, the challenge is going to be in 2021 uh, that we don't see 
a little improvement, and then we start dumping more supply. And that's the risk. I hope we don't start, you know, the, 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 the big developer don't start dumping supply just because they can sell another few hundred villas or apartments. Uh, we are very, very careful in Dabak, and I can assure you uh, we are not going to bring new products in the market. Very small, minor, maybe, you know, few hundred or less than a hundred, you know, here and there, just to keep the momentum going. But we very, very strongly believe next year is going to be a challenging year, and we will not bring new products, and we have no intention of expanding because situation is still uh, does not look rosy at all going forward.